in the vast expanse of the cosmos, a new chapter in human exploration unfolds. From the lunar surface to the red sands of Mars, our desire to explore propels us forward. As we stand on the threshold of a new era, we turn to robotics to help us achieve greater challenges and establish more permanent outposts for long-term space exploration. Hi, for those of you who don't already know me, my name is Giovanni Giacolini and I'm a senior at Worcester Polytechnic Institute studying robotics engineering. I'm currently leading the development of software for the 2024 Lunabotics team. A senior project at WPI tasked with building an autonomous lunar rover robot for the NASA Lunabotics Challenge this May. This challenge is particularly exciting because as humanity gets ready to go back to the moon, robots will help us do a lot of the dirty, dull, and dangerous tasks on the lunar surface to help us prepare for a more permanent human presence. As the mechanical team is machining and getting ready to assemble our final robot, the software team has been doing a lot of parallel development with our prototype drivetrain. So I wanted to use this video as a way to update you on the progress that we've made. Currently, we're working on our POSE estimation pipeline, which consists of localization through a fiducial marker detection system, as well as the odometry of our drivetrain. We've created a complementary filter to help us fuse this data, and this helps us to always know where our robot is in 3D space relative to the origin of the field coordinate system. We also have a RealSense stereo vision camera for detecting obstacles in our environment. It works by running canny edge detection on our depth data to highlight contours in the image. These contours represent potential obstacles that we need to map and avoid while driving. Next, we apply morphological operations to merge the contours, and then we draw convex holes around the contours to identify the regions of the image where there is likely to be an obstacle. After applying a convex hole, we can find the centroid of the convex hole and solve for the Cartesian coordinates of the obstacle with respect to the robot. When we know where the robot is with respect to the world, we will eventually be able to create an occupancy grid representation of the field and map these obstacles for navigational purposes. So we've made a lot of really good progress on our robot so far, but the project is far from over. We have less than four months uh, before we have to pack our robot into a box and ship it down to Florida to compete with other universities. So until then, we're going to be doing a lot of machining in the machine shop, we're going to be building our final robot, we're going to be testing all of our systems, we're going to be tuning our SLAM and navigation algorithms, and really just getting a lot of practice in uh, so that when we get to Florida and we put our robot on the field, we know it's going to work first time. And uh, that's going to be a really exciting moment. So thank you so much for tuning in to the first update of this project, and look forward to seeing more to come. Thanks for watching.